family. So it is a new week and we got kind of a hodgepodge dinner tonight because that's just the way it worked out. So I made burgers, bam, right there on the smoker. And then we had a little bit of steak action. So that's what Christine's plate looks like. It's got a little steak, uh, green beans and yams. I'm gonna go with a burger and a smoked potato and some green beans. Kind of a not well put together, but that is what happens on a Friday night when you're tired. Hey, we're not having a so, rotisserie. So. Not a rotisserie tonight because today is Costco night. So that is what's for dinner. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Friday night. Good afternoon, uh, peoples. So today is Sunday, but I got to fill you on on Saturday's dinner first. So yesterday we stayed at home, cleaned the house, kind of thing, yada, yada, yada. Christine and I went out on date night. Our town has this thing called an all day, all day shindig, some kind of party basically that the town has where they bring in a bunch of local music and the town shuts down and just people walk around town and they just kind of mosey around and they eat off of food carts and stuff like that. So we stopped by the barbecue joint food truck and I had sliders, smoked sliders. Christine just had smoked meat. That is what we had for dinner on Saturday during date night. Okay, Sunday fun day. So tonight we are going to do Paleo, keto, low carb, meatloaf, gluten free. Delicious with a twist. Got a twist, got a twist. We're gonna throw a twist on it. So that is what we're gonna cook for dinner tonight. Just got everything out here. Got the whole spread of things. We're gonna get it all in the, in the bowl there, mix it all together, throw it up in there, and then we're gonna give it a spin in the oven probably for, I don't know, probably 40 minutes or so. It says probably on here. I don't know how long, 25 to 45. And then we'll get some kind of veggie going with it. I'm thinking mashed potatoes. It kind of feels like a meatloaf and mashed potatoes kind of day. So let's get this started. All right, people. So here's everybody. Everybody on the everybody's in the pool here. So I guess it just says to mix it all up now. Make it into a loaf and put it in the pan. The one thing I think it's always funny is don't over stir. Like. What happens if you over stir it? And how do you know if you've over stirred it compared to under stirring it? It'll get lumpy maybe. I'm just thinking the, the floury stuff gets all pasty maybe. There is the loaf before she goes into the oven all mixed up and finally mounted up there. Only if there was something that we could do to make this a little better. What do you think? Got an idea? BAM! That's better. When in doubt, cover it in bacon. So if you make this recipe that I'm gonna link below, note that it says 30 minutes and an additional 20 to 25 minutes. So you're looking at like maybe an hour. I don't know what happened. Maybe I added too much meat because I just threw it all together. I didn't really measure the meat, so to speak. But it made, you know, a pretty good sized loaf. It took us, that took like two hours to get to 160 in the center, so it did take a little longer. So make sure you stick to the two pounds of meat and don't go over, and you'll be great. So here it is. Got a little corn, meatloaf, little mashed taters, and this is the bacon that we had on top, so I just threw those on there like that. But that uh, is all done and prettied up, so that is what is for dinner on Sunday night. Let's get our grub on later. All right, dude, Sickles, it's Monday, and the wife is cooking, so I'm a vlogging. No more overtime. No more overtime. So what do we got going on here? We got some um, cast iron skillet chops, it looks like. Some kind of fancy Wait, looking, looking salad. I'm going to show them the end result. You're rushing me. Little sunflower seeds Rush up on that action. Dun, dun, da, da, da. <laughs> hey, guys, here it is, all pretty. This is what you needed to see. This is what I was going for. Um, so there it is. Pork chops. I love cooking in cast yeah. iron. Holla! Thumbs up if you love cooking in cast iron too because everything tastes better in cast iron. You can see me moving my hands. Anyway, so I cheated with a box salad and then added tomatoes, avocado, 
um, and sunflower seeds we love. We don't eat croutons in our house anymore, so um, we eat that and we love it. And watermelon, I had to use up watermelon. So that's what's for dinner, you guys. Monday night is out. It is that time of day. So we are, as you can hear in the background, it's all snap pop on, snack pop, uh, snap pop, whatever, whatever. Just give up, dude, just give up. So tonight we're going with our, our uh, teriyaki or you know chicken, I guess you want to call it. So what I do is I just hit the hit the chicken in the pan real quick, a couple minutes on each side to kind of brown it up. I got my secret sauce right here all ready to go, and I just drop about I think what did I make here about a cup and a half there, cup and a half. So I do about three quarters in here and three quarters of a cup in there, and then just let it simmer in that for a while. I was going to show you guys how to make this, but there's two ingredients that I'm out of. So we are on like a three quarters of a full batch here. There's two ingredients out of this I was missing. So next time I make this, I will give you guys the breakdown of this. And then uh, we'll just go with some steamed broccoli. And instant pot rice. So it's kind of like a bento night, just teriyaki chicken and uh, broccoli and rice. Hi peoples, that was a good dinner. So here's what the chicken looks like when it's all done. I usually cook it till it gets a little crispy edge on it. And all diced up on some rice and some broccoli. The kids just take theirs all separate because if they touch, apparently you can't eat it. So it's that delicious. is what is it's for the dinner. the best chicken you have ever made. There you go, it's the best chicken I've ever made. And then it looks like here we have some green onions that you could throw on top there. There we go. So that is Tuesdays dinner later good morning guys so it is wednesday morning i am just making hi tt we always try i oh it's always my goal to serve a hot <laughs> breakfast for my kids i just think it's better for them it helps them sustain their uh their day at school and all the things that's required of them so i want to show you this recipe because i make this recipe a good two times a week um i am addicted to it and i love it and it's just simple as throwing it all into a blender and um, blending it up. So I'm gonna link the recipe down below for these. Uh, I love this girl's blog too. I'm not sure. Blender maple banana flourless muffins. So that is what they're called and they are amazing. You put the toppings on. We like cranberries on top. I'm out of cranberries, so I'm gonna be using raisins today. Dried raisins or dried cranberries. And then I like to make some with some walnuts some um, just crushed walnuts on top of mine. So we do a little bit of different toppings for every person in the family, but these are really good. Right guys? Right. 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 It's dark because it's early. And it's dinner time. So we are whopping up one of the, the kids' favorite dinners and that is skinned chicken thighs in the oven. We bake them. So I just throw them in the pan right there, hit them with a little garlic salt and pepper, and then I bake them on 400 for about 45 minutes or until the skin on top is nice and crispy, crunchy, because that's what the kids like. And then uh, that's it, serve. All right, peoples, chicken is done. That's what you got. Got a little action right there, a little right there. And then we got leftovers. We had mashed potatoes from a couple nights ago and rice from last night and whipped up a salad with all the usual suspects. So I ended up with rice, everybody else ended up with potatoes. So we got the pieces of chicken there, rice with some sun, or salad with some sunflower seeds, onions and cucumbers and other goodies on there. That is what is for dinner on Wednesday night. My peoples, it is Thursday night, end of the week dinner. So tonight is kind of a thrown together i didn't vlog a whole lot well i didn't well, we're not vlogging a whole lot anymore here it's late it's like almost nine o'clock so i was just rushing trying to get everything done so tonight we're going with rice old school in the pot and then i threw some stuff in the instant pot i don't have the laptop close it's some kind of um spiced spiced pork and a um lime and pineapple sauce and so you dice it up just like that you throw some fresh pineapple over it with some green onions on top of the rice 
and it makes kind of like a Hawaiian rice bowl kind of kind of deal or whatever. So, all right, guys. So here it is, all plated up. Got the rice and the pork all kind of shredded and diced up on there. A little bit of pineapple and green onions to go with that. That will wrap up this week. Thanks for thanks for shopping. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we will catch you on next week's vlog, food vlog. Later, people. Thank you.